It's your guy Boris Yeltsin, straight from the ratio in a four bedroom executive villa. I'm back again, man, with something very, very pristine, gorgeous, beautiful. The definition of beauty in real estate is found here. This one is a four bedroom, all en suite, sitting on a 0 0.4 acre. We're gonna show you the exterior of this one. This one's already gone, it's sold. The owner has just done a few modifications, which I'll show you what is done on this property, which also you can replicate on your unit that is on sale. It's only one remaining right now here. 0 0.4 selling at 150 million. So let's go that way, get to see what we have on this beautiful, nicely manicured compound in upmarket low ratio right now. Just right now. Let's go this way. And Boris, before you go too far. Yes. I think you're going too fast. Yeah. And we have a very <laughs> beautiful patio right be behind you. Okay. With the wooden pergolas. Yes. And also the wood finishing on the out on, yeah. the, on the on the outdoors. Yes. So I mean, this guy has done a lot of modifications. Yes. He said a little, but I feel like it's a, a lot. lot. Yeah. It's a lot of very modification. True. So behind yes. you, originally we have a carport. Yeah. That occupies around four cars. Yes. But then right now, the way he's changed it. Yeah. You have a two do two two car garage. Yeah. And then also two Carport carports. Two. Yes, also on the very outdoor. true. Mm -hmm. uh, the owner's done a lot of modification, even on the garden, right? He didn't change the indigenous grass that used to be here. It's still the same one like other guys have done, say, um, the other types of grass. But he maintained it nicely done. It's very clean. Has a bit of flowers around it. Some nice, you know, light popping out. And that side, that is the gazebo. Come, I want to show you the gazebo first. Then I take you to detail. Seeing the exterior of this one, then we go inside. So let's see this one. Now, on here, this guy has done a gazebo, which is very beautiful. Some have done a swimming pool on this space, mm -hmm. right? It depends on what suits you. I think this guy is not a swimmer, so he chose to go with this one. Or maybe he has very small kids, right? Yes. So here is the gazebo, which is nicely done. The details on this one are just consistent with what we'll see in the house. The hoodings, the gray, the white, all these things you're seeing on the ceiling are similar to what you'll see in the house. The owner of this one bought it while it was still off plan. That's why he was able to do a bit of modification like these ones. But then again, you have got also a chance to buy this and also modify it to your own liking. Yes, buddy. Yes, also, um, before even go too far, yes. I feel like um, the, there's a lot of wood finishing yes. on the outdoors. Very true. Which allows it to contrast very well. Very true. With the very nice white and gray paint on the wall. Very true. And then also the gray stone cladding. Yes. Makes it look very expensive, very Rich. nice and beautiful. I mean, but I, I've walked into many houses. Guys say, Boris, every house you go to, you always say, you've never seen something. Like. It's true, man. I've walked around. This style of uh, architecture is a unique one. It's not the flat roof, straight line. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit of vintage into it, right? A bit of modernity into it, right? And it just stands out. Buddy, before we go that side, there is something that I think you have to notice. Mm -hmm. In this gazebo, yes. however scorching it is on that side, yes. it's very cool it's here. very cool. And breeze is just flowing inside. Yeah. The I mean, owner of this was very smart. He'll, he'll enjoy it. Yes. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm shocked. You even know, you, you mentioned it and then I noticed it. Yes. Because outside it felt very hot. Yes. But then inside here, it's, it's very, cool. very cool. Very cool. A very slight, polite breeze coming in. Exactly. From those trees, mature trees. We are, we are in Loretto, and Loretto is known for mature trees, greenery, you know, it's a high end location, right? Those who are watching us from the diaspora of the US, from the UK, from Australia, from Asia, right? If you're looking for a place to uh, start a family or to move and uh, continue the family in Nairobi, Loretto should, should be up on your list. Yes. Yes. The arc windows, you will see them in each and every uh, opening, say doors or windows. They're very unique, not those straight windows you see in many houses. This is very stylish. Very stylish. Very stylish. I, I remember when we were looking at the house yeah. first, yeah. you were talking about how it looks like a castle. Exactly. <laughs> and you're saying, Boris, this can be a castle. This is my mini castle. <laughs> it can be your mini castle, of course, if you want to. Then again, Paddy, look at this. On the frames of that, of those arc windows, you yes. see the black, right? Mm. And the gray, and the gray then you the jump into the white. But then again also, the quality of paint used, come close to show you something, maybe you might not notice, but then again, it calls for someone who has eye or taste for good things and fine things like you and me. Come close, look at this. The paint that I've been used here is not a cheap paint, buddy. Yes. You can show them from the side. Yes. 
Look at the paint. This paint is not cheap. It shows you the developer took their time just to make sure the house comes out clean and shake. Yes. And yes. before we go even go too far, boys, <laughs> look at the pillars. Exactly. That's what I was telling you. This is my mini castle. Looks mini like castle. looks like those pillars in the in the Colosseum. A Colosseum, but that's very very true. I mean, the style that has been used to just achieve this property is just. I mean, I can't. I can't even. I can't even talk about you it. You can't it's talk immaculate. about it, and you can't point it out because it's a mix of uh, a bit of old school yes. and modern. Yes. So there's that mix. Yes. And then also you have very massive um, double glazed windows. Very true. So the double glazed inside very quiet it's very very quiet and a lot of natural lighting into it i know you can't wait to jump in but i'm gonna show you inside just take take a time let us go through step by step just to you to consume the exterior of this property before you go into the property that side i've got access from the kitchen to the sq now this one has a bit of a difference mm -hmm. on this property that is sold already the sq is detached yes now on the other side the sq is attached on that unit i'm going to show you inside yes. it's attached now this one the owner chose a detached sq with its own gate on that side which you can use to access the property mm -hmm. right which yes. is very smart yes and next to it you have got a lining hanging lines next to the sq which for me i think the owner was very smart doing that modification yes 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 and also you have a lot of outdoor space yes for your kids to run around very true and for them to play and very then also true. uh inside the inside the whole house itself yes. you'll see we have a lot, so a lot of balconies yeah in each and every space upstairs yeah and i'm going to show you them something on the balconies we don't use glass right <laughs> come on we didn't use glass we used pure steel nicely painted with high end paint look at that and the details on the balcony frames i mean that is it might look as, like a small detail but for me it stands out in fact when you're from far away that is the only thing you can notice from outside yes the balcony mm -hmm. frames on it still pure steel and some detail and some ventilation to allow airflow into the balcony as you sit there and between the beauty of the ratio one thing I also have to talk about, <laughs> Boris, is the massive rooftop deck. Exactly. <laughs> it is so huge. Are you sure? Very. You know me, I'm, a, I'm an inter, a future entertainer. Okay. So things like those get, get me very excited. <laughs> okay, that is very true. Now, before we even jump in on that side, we have the perimeter wall, which is very secure. There's electric fence running and some green net. It's a very private neighborhood. And then on that side, we have a new project coming up, right? If you miss out on this, you can book that one. It's gonna take some time to construct and therefore you have a lengthy payment plan. Buddy, before we jump in, mm -hmm. I have to mention this. Yes. Look at the cladding, the gray cladding on the chimney, mm -hmm. right? From the fireplace all the way down up, you see? To the top. Exactly, the cladding, the gray cladding. And then, but you can see the roof cutting, right? Yes, yes. And again, it's consistent. You can see every level has got its own belt. Oh. The belt is very thick and gray with some small details, mm -hmm. right? Some yes, small yes, details. Yes. Uh, these details are mostly you see it on houses in Dubai. Yes. That small detail you can see over there. Yeah. And then the gray belt again on that uh, mid level, which again, for me, it's very beautiful. Makes the house look so gorgeous. And then the choice of the wall screws and the light fixtures you can see they are very unique these light fixtures are similar to the ones we saw in the four million dollar house yes. in kirisuru remember I, I was about to say that they almost look like lanterns exactly and even the style is a bit similar to the one in kirisuru yes right yeah the style of the, the style of the house because we have even the roof and i know you are going to say that next but i grabbed that point from <laughs> okay, you say it then. <laughs> <laughs> so we even have the uh, tegola roof yeah. on this building yeah. so it makes the house very warm yeah. inside and very quiet exactly yes and, and in case it's, it's it's raining right in case it's raining you don't get to hear the the rain falling mm -hmm. right if it's so hot outside it's so cool so inside cool, yes. if it's cool outside it it's warms warm. inside yes. and then that roof it's very durable. Mm -hmm. It can take years and years and years without you changing anything or maintain that roof. It's like a freehold land. <laughs> hundred years. It's like a few you have got hundred years on that roof, not changing anything. Now this side is still the garden for this unit. The garden on this unit is a bit bigger. Of course, it's sold. Eh? The owner has done a few modifications, but we have used this to show you how your property could be if you decide to do some few modifications just like the owner of this unit 
right? Let yes. you come. Let's show them the garage, how this guy, the owner, is very smart and stylish enough. What he chose was to do two garages, you can see, the two garages here, which you can do also on that, you know, that side. We haven't shot that side because the garden is not yet mode. That's why we chose to show you this side, which is nicely maintained. But then again, you can do the same thing on the other side. Yes. Now I've got two garages here. There's a basement down there. I don't know where it goes to. The owner is very smart. We can park two cars. Even six cars can fit here. Mm -hmm. The parking lot for this unit is a bit bigger than the other one. Yes. The other one, we haven't fitted the gate yet. But then again, once you buy it, they'll fit for you the gate. This side, you can see, is nicely maintained. Very clean. Everything is the same on the interior as well as a bit of exterior. Yes. The only difference that may come on the exterior is the lot size, mm -hmm. right? And a few modifications that the owner has done on this one, which you won't find on the other one. Yes. I'm very clear on that. This one is sold. The other one is on sale. Where I'm going to take you in is the one on sale. Yes. Sounds good? Yes. Now, this is your way into the house. And I'm going to take you inside this property to get to see what we have on the interior of this beautiful four bedroom, all on suite, sitting on a 0.4 acre in Laurentia. <laughs> and there is something you guys might have not noticed, but many times I've taken you to properties that, you know, uh, sometimes you find uh, what you're seeing and then when you go see it, you find uh, 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 maybe the, the person who bought it did a bit of modifications, right? Uh, that shows you that, you know, uh, many times smart buyers come in as early as possible, then they fine tune and customize their unit to their own liking. Now, that is limited to a property uh, that is already done. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be difficult for you to modify because it's gonna take you too much time and too much money as well. But when you come in when they're still constructing, you can always modify. Now, like now we're doing a new project again, just behind me, same developer. If you miss this one, you can always get into that one, buy it as well as right now, put in like 20, 30% deposit, balance you can spread to almost two years, no pressure in it. But this one, I'm selling it cash, right? If there is no cash or a payment plan for three months, you cannot buy it. It's going to be very difficult because now we are trying to finish, move to the next project. So let's come in and see what we have inside here in the ratio. So I know you've been waiting to jump into this beautiful four bedroom villa. And of course, you can jump in. Join me inside. Let's enjoy this beauty. On top of me is a skylight that just brings light on my bars that is coming like so fast like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we are competing. Pardon? We are competing on that area, yes? No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. I mean, I'm aging, but I'm aging gracefully. Yes. Now, here is a double volume ceiling. When you enter, the entry foyer has a double volume ceiling. And then look at that beauty. Combination of the hood, the painting, just beautiful. Very, very beautiful, buddy. And I like also the way the main door has a very beautiful contrast. Yeah. Black, white, then gray. Very true. Then again, this door is very strong. It's a very strong door with a very thick glass here. Mm -hmm. It's a strong frame, uh, steel frame door with some glass in it. And look at that arc. Still consistent in each and every space and window and the door as well. It's very consistent. Anything that is on the exterior, be it a door, be it a window, all of it is a cylindrical, some arcs in it. Like this one, see this one. This is a small window, right? That's what I was telling you, these guys went overboard just to bring something unique to the market. And before we go any, anywhere, Boris, yeah. you know, see the way they have the frosted glass on the door? Yes. They would have uh, chosen to put a wooden door there. Very true. But it would have made the entryway very dark. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I agree with you. That's very true. And it's from floor to ceiling. That's very, very expensive. It's very expensive and it's a very smart idea just to bring natural lighting to the entry foyer, which for me is gorgeous. On my right hand side is a clock room or the powder room and look at the door frame. Just look at this. <laughs> Paddy, we have seen many houses, man, and it's so rare to find white door white frames. Door frames. <laughs> white it's door very frames. Rare. Yeah, it's very rare. White door frames with the black hinges and white door and black I mean a black knob again here, right? Very classic. Let's come see this powder room. This is not a washroom. Sorry, somebody just went for short for here. Oh, no problem. This is not 
a washroom for bedroom. It's a powder room and I like the placement just next to the entry foyer. The details in this washroom is just unmatched. Tiles on the seat, all the way to the ceiling, the sink, the toilet. I mean, the choice of the finishes. This developer is not a joker. He knows what he is doing. Or oh, she knows what she is doing. Now here is the first bedroom or the guest bedroom. Of course, the four bedroom. Come in. I like the honeycomb design in the oh, yeah. bathroom we, we just left. Exactly. Uh, that, we can call that uh, uh, beehive tiles. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, beehive it looks like a beehive, gray tiles. Very beautiful. Look at this bedroom. This is the first bedroom. Very spacious. A lot of casement windows bring natural light into this space. The closet are very, very gorgeous. And then again, there's an LED strip light that is motion sensor. Then you can. That is how we go about it. Ah. Oh yeah. Okay. So I think if you if you, if you are if you are a short person like me, mm -hmm. this is very for the kids, right? Yeah, for the kids. It's very smart. It's very smart. See, it just goes back silently. Then you can close that. Then you can. And also, what do you have on the other side? Ah, uh, you see, the LED strip is motion sensor. Once you open, the lights goes on. Once you close, it goes off. But then you can see the MDF boards used here are not cheap MDF boards. The high density MDF. Board. And even the lighting. Oh yeah, <laughs> crazy. crazy. Look at the lighting. Look at the lighting. Look at look at those spotlights. But it, you know, uh, sometimes for you to stand out, you need to use uh, fixtures that are a bit unique. Yes. Look at the lighting. The lighting is a bit unique. Yes, very you don't unique. have those you know uh, square lights, big cheap ones, mm. very small. They give they just produce. Little light, ambient. ambient light, you know, very cool and relaxed. Come see this washroom. Yes, buddy. Yes, and it's very beautiful. I also like the way we have a very good space, enough space yeah. between the shower cubicle, the toilet area, yeah. and the vanity. There is more space in this space, but there is something I can see, buddy, which is for me is beautiful. This rain shower head and this telephone shower. Uh, it's hands grown, high end, high end, you know, high end appliances for the washroom. Hands grown, fitted, nicely fitted. It doesn't look like those other rain shower heads, those cheap ones. Yes. This is nicely done with a nice cabinet. And here is an outlet. No, not those cylindrical outlets you see in washrooms, some holes, and maybe somebody. Our hairs have gone there, they look so bad, you don't like seeing it, it's white sometimes, then it's stained, becomes dirty. That one, water sips, water just slips in and it sips inside, you don't get to see anything. For me, that it's beautiful, detail. And then another good thing Boris ah, need to notice, yeah? Yeah. All the windows in the washroom are frosted. Frosted, yes. Frosted glass. Very true. That means you don't even need curtains in this Oh, place. that's very true. You don't so need So it maintains the beauty of the design. Yeah. So, because curtains sometimes they just have some weird... I like, I like what you're saying. That's very true. And the shower cubicle is so huge with a very huge glass all the way. You can see that. There's a lot of videos you can talk about in this washroom. And I'm, I, can, I can spend even 20 minutes talking about what this washroom has. But then again, I just mentioned a few, and some would sum up in other washrooms. Yes. Okay? So let us go this way, show you what we have this side. Just look at this. Look at the stairs, man. Just look at the stairs. You're buying, you're not just buying a house, you're buying high-end finishes. Look at the look at the hood finishes. All the steps with the gray tiles. And then look at this. Just look at that hooding with the gray. It's so gorgeous. It's beautiful. Then let's step down, see what you have on this beautiful sunken lounge. Come this way. This is our lounge. The lounge is so huge with a fireplace, nicely cladded, gray and some light gray around it. And then look at this detail. I think you can see it. the size of the skirting is so huge, very thick skirting size. Look at that. Oh yes, White. yes, yes. <laughs> very, very big, very big. Yeah, you like it? I like it. And then Paddy, what I've noticed again with this lounge is the windows behind me are tinted and therefore my neighbor cannot get to see my lounge yes even if i decide not to use curtains or drapes yes. right but this side the windows are clear 
you can get to see the beauty of the garden from the lounge. Okay, those arch windows are consistent in each and every window except these two windows here. Mm -hmm. Right? Then again, Paddy, the floor, man. Yes. Very nice wooden floor. Yeah. Let's go up to the ceiling. Yeah. We have some very nice wooden beams running across the yes. ceiling. Yeah. With those very nice down lighters, very which true. are dimmable. Yeah. By the way. Which of course you can adjust using this pattern. I can decide increase or even decrease the brightness. Look at that. Wow. That is very beautiful. You don't find that in many properties. The choice of switches and sockets, you don't find them in many houses. These sockets have got HDMI ports. You can charge your phone directly from that point without the headers of chargers. This wall, you can mount a TV if you want to own this wall. Yes. The floor is beautiful, delicious. I love it. This side is your kitchen, right? The kitchen is something that I cannot wait to show you. <laughs> Come in, look at this. And you tell me, you tell me in your wildest dreams, where, where have you thought about this? Or even seen this, buddy? <laughs> Only in the movies. Only in the movies, and the movies here right now. <laughs> look at this kitchen, it's a very huge, semi-open plan kitchen which opens the dining. Of course, a huge island in between here with a sink, of course, and the material that has been used on the countertops is not a cheap material. Yes. And then also we have very high ceilings yeah. on this floor. So yeah. The kitchen, uh, living the room, and the lounge and the dining. Yeah. And then I, mean, I noticed you have almost three sinks. Do you have like any explanation for that ah uh, Chris of course this one you can use for quick preparation for of maybe you're trying to cook something you can cut clean very fast cut, oh, yes, yes, yes. Clean very fast so this is just to uh, increase convenience when you're cooking yeah not just to move and knock put down that one can be your point maybe you wash your utensils on that side this is for the chef when he's preparing the food mm -hmm. yes buddy behind you we have yes. inbuilt yeah um, microwave and yeah. oven yes and then also on this corner, yeah. we have space for your fridge. Comes with a three burner mm -hmm. and one induction yes. with the hood and hole. Exactly. That's, that's not enough, buddy. And then here, I have a dish washing machine for you. Comes with the house, built in the house. Remember, look at the cabinetries are black, I mean white, with some detail, the black handles and some detail just on it. Look at this, on it. It shows you the materials that have been used in this kitchen are just far, 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 far ahead. You can't compare with anything in this market. You can't compare with anything. Very true. A lot of storage just around me. I've got a lot of lowers and a lot of uppers. You have got more space here. You can store more stuff. Look at this. Just look at this. I'm not giving you cheap, you know, organizers and cheap drawers and with some glass. You can see that? It's a blast. That is so, so beautiful and I love it. And even the appliances you have used on this kitchen, high-end Bosch appliances in your kitchen, this door takes us into the scullery. But I want to finish with the dining, mm -hmm. then jump into the scullery if you don't mind. Yes. Sounds good? Yes, sounds good. But right next to me, okay, we have the pantry. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, the pantry here with some nice wood shelves which for me is just beautiful and stands out. Let me close this. Behind me is my dining area. Paddy, we are going to, that's our dining area. Very spacious, a lot of natural light and big windows. Yes, bro. We still have the wooden beams running across the ceiling. Consistent? Consistent, very high ceilings again. That's very true. Very consistent. Yeah. And then also the windows, huge. very huge windows, allowing light to flow into the room very well. That's very true. Then this one here is your breakfast countertop, right? Have some quick breakfast form here. But then again, the material I've been used here, this should be marble. I believe so. Yes, yes, yes. That is marble. Yeah, this marble. And a very thick marble, which of course makes the house look so elegant and very, very high end. Come this side. I want to show you something that I think is very important for us to see it before we go anywhere. You cook your smelling foods here. This is my scullery, which you can use to cook your smelly foods, cut your, you know, if you, if you have such kind of foods, you know, mm -hmm. you can do them here. But then again, you can also do your laundry here, right? You can put, uh, fit your uh, washing machine, I've got provisions on, that, on those locations, more cabinetries, lower uppers, more space in these.
But then here, this gives you access to your hanging lines just behind me here. And then it takes you to the SQ, which you can access from outside. And then before you even go, Boris, yes. remember, frosted doors and windows just for more privacy. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's very true. Because it's facing the neighbors. Oh, that's very true. So frosted windows, you find them mostly if you're facing your neighbor. Yes. On the lounge side, we had tinted windows that were giving us more privacy on our lands. I know you've been watching and you kind of feel like, Boris, where are you going up? I'm taking you up just, just right now. Stick around, don't go anywhere. If it's your first time seeing me on set or watching us, please make sure you subscribe. You can even comment and even share with the buddies. Come this way, I want to show you something which I think is very important. Buddy, look at these hood finishes consistently to every, every space of the house. You still have them here on the handrails and the glass. You know, it's very expensive. Come with me. And it's a touch of class where they're adding the wood, the black and the gray. Very consistent. Yeah, not I, too many different colors. Yes, and not too many very bright and screaming colors, but it's very subtle and organized. Oh yeah, very true. This is our landing. This side is your TV area, a very huge TV area or a family room with beautiful windows bringing natural light into it. On that end, here I have a space that you can use as your study room or your home office. But then again, it has a balcony. And also, this family room also has a balcony behind me here. Now, come to so I want to show you something that I think is very important for you to see it. Before we go anywhere, uh, I think we can start with this side first. Yes, yes. Yes, come this way. See this bedroom here. This is my second bedroom. Of course, it's on suite. A lot of arc windows around me. Very beautiful closet behind me. A lot of light into the space. And don't forget, the floor is not slip. I've got a very good grip, which is very beautiful. It's a nice wooden floor. Yes, a very spacious uh, room yeah. with the massive windows, allows in a lot of natural light. Yes. Very high ceiling. Yes. I like the light fixtures that yes. have been used here. Yeah. Very unique and very classy. Yeah. Yes. In the wardrobes, I think it's the same design as we had. Uh, in the, the wardrobe, of course, this one. I mean, very consistent, same, similar to what you saw down there. But then again, I like. The fact that the developer didn't go cheap to have a different type of material in the other bedroom. That's consistent in each and every space. Here is your washroom. And the washroom also, in terms of finishes, is consistent as what you saw down there. The tiles, the fixtures, the head, I mean the red shower head, and the windows, the glasses, and the frosted windows, all the stuff is consistent. Come this way, I want to show you something which I think is very important for you to get to see before you get tired watching me on screen. I know now I'm boring you so much, but I'm sorry, very sorry. Before I jump in here, I want to appreciate this idea of having this glass frame up, right? Safe for kids, but then again, the good thing is as light goes down, some get to flow to this side. Yes. So it brightens this corridor. Yes. Yes, brightens buddy. the corridor and then also the wooden louvers allows for lights to get into the staircase. We saw this on this floor and on the ground floor as That's well. That's very true. It's, it's consistent on what you saw on the ground floor. Buddy, come, let's sh show them this bedroom. This bedroom is one of my best bedrooms. However small it is, it has a nice stunning balcony or a jeweled balcony with a very strong frames steel black frames and this bedroom the good thing with it of course it's all sweet the view i get from this side is beautiful some greenery and some contrast of the exterior of other properties but in private it's a very very nice bedroom this one i could give it to maybe say my guy yes come to the party i want to show them something i'm not waiting what is that i want to show them i want to show them something come this way there is something that caught my eyes when I walked into this property. And the thing is this, what is behind me. Look at this. This is the master bedroom. It's so huge with a real walk-in closet with a beautiful balcony, right? Private to this. Yes. And the view on that side is very, very green and beautiful. Yes, buddy. I mean, there's nothing more to add apart from just the size and the massive uh, amount of space that you have in this yeah. balcony. Another thing, think they've already noticed, you can't even see the closet. 
You cannot see the closet. It's a walk-in. Real walk-in closet and party. This property is so, so unique. There is nothing in this market that can beat this property in terms of style, finishes, right? Even the space. For me, this is the property of the year. The developer owes me an award. I'm going to give them an award. Even the price point? The price point is very fair. Consider the location where we are in for four bedroom, villa, not villa, executive villa, in Laurentia, sitting on a 0 0.4, going for 150, it's a no-brainer. No-brainer. Yes. And then if you add the quality of the finishes. Inside, exactly. You know, sometimes we look at properties and then I'm like, Boris, if somebody lives here for a year or two, they'll have, they'll have to start making repairs. That's very true. In this, I don't think somebody may, That's will make true. repairs even after three years. I agree with you. Yes. That's why I'm voting for this. I'm voting for this big time. And listen, it's only one remaining. I just sold that one. Now this is remaining. It's the last call for you to own a four bedroom villa in Laurentia. And remember, developers are not building anymore. It's so expensive to build in Laurentia. Buying land and building a house is crazy in Laurentia. It's very expensive and that's why very few guys can build. And look at this. This developer came in and did something very, very outstanding. For me, caught my eyes. Party, look at the door frame, consistent. The skirting, thick, white. I mean, the lot of details, the sockets. The sockets have got HDMI provision. Look at that. And the switches are not cheap switches you see in houses. Look at that, buddy. These guys are doing a very good job in terms of finishes. Yes. Come this way. They don't just, you just, come on. It's crazy, bonkers. Come in. This is a real walking. It feels like I'm in a five star hotel. Yes. Somewhere in Dubai. <laughs> but I'm in Nairobi. In a real walking closet, still consistent, black and white, and hood finishes on the floor. For me, this is the catch. This is the catch. This is the catch. This is the catch. Look at that. I mean, you have so many a provisions, load. a lot of things to play around with. A lot. This is your wife, baby girl. She sits here and does her makeup. She has her own private mirror with a provision for a bulb she wants to put. Just for herself. Imagine doing some makeup, then on that side, you eat the views. So you eat the views as you do your makeup. Yes. Where do you find it? Nowhere. <laughs> Only here. <in America. laughs> <laughs> Give me that. I love that. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I mean, this is beautiful. I like it. These guys know what they're doing. They really know what they're doing. And sometimes it's good to work with guys who are experts. These guys are building all over up market and Robbie. They have a new project coming up right now, uh, just behind us here. They have one of the best four bedrooms overlooking Kara Forest. These guys are high-end developers. I've, I've been in this industry for a very long time and I've not seen somebody who is very, very particular on the details. I've shown you many houses, some really focus on space and the size of the lot and you know, size of the rooms, but these guys are really keen on finishes. You buy a house, it can take years and years and years before you do maintenance again yes. or fix something. I can see a very, very beautiful bus stop yeah. with the honeycomb design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. backdrop. Backdrop. Yeah. And then some very beautiful dropping lights. If wow. I switch off all of the lights and then leave only those floor. Yeah. And it's me and my baby girl inside. Exactly. Do you say, man? Very good times. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true, man. This is... Should I say trophy one? The epitome of luxury. Ah, that is you so much. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is the apex of living. Yes. Trust me, it is. I'm a real, <laughs> I'm a real shower chemical. This shower chemical can fit you. I have big you all. You can fit here with the wife. Yes. It's so huge, and the glass prevents light. I mean, water splash into the bathtub, which is so beautiful. You shower here. She sh showers next to you. Nice fixtures here. Hands grow. Hands grow is a high end fixture for uh, you know washrooms and toilet. Here, I have with this medicine cabinet here. You can, you know, 
put your stuff there, maybe shave up all the stuff. I've got two sinks, you and your baby girl. You can brush at the same time and prepare to go to work at the same time, conveniently. I've got, you know, uh, vanity here, right? A lot of space down here, socket over there for the shaver, which is very, very true, very, very beautiful. I've got the toilet which hangs on the wall. The system is inside. The tile goes all the way to the ceiling and nicely bookmatched. Now, you sit there in the bathtub, soak yourself inside. A very big window, huge window that flows from the floor to the ceiling, which gives you a very beautiful view of the exterior. What? Do you want again a platform this beautiful washroom? Tell me on the comment section just right now. Yes, come this way, buddy. Buddy, yes. tell me, buddy. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> oh, only, only, I will repeat this. I said it downstairs, but yeah. I have to repeat here. Yeah. The mixture of the wooden finish. Yes. On the vanity. Yeah. The black faucet. Yeah. White sinks. Yes. And then the gray on the on the gypsum, yes. plus on the tiles. Yes. Very nice combination. Very nice combination. Very classic now, combination. Sorry to cut a short back party, but it tells you when the developer was designing, and he didn't just design, mm -hmm. he brought in also interior designers. Yes, yes. You know some just use architects. Yes. But then this guy brought in high-end interior designer. They just brought them in. <laughs> just designed out. Not Pinterest designer. No, 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 not Pinterest designer. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go up, see what you have on the next level of this beautiful four bedroom villa right now in the ratio. Follow me upstairs. I'm very lucky to find you. And thank God I've found you. And you're very lucky to see this. You're the first one to get to see this in real time. This is the attic of this four bedroom. Now, this attic space can be converted into a yoga space say gym, so you can convert into a private kids play area. If you want your kids to mingle with neighbors and all that stuff, they can play here. But then again, some guys who like a lot of space, they've converted these into a master, master square bedroom. Of course, very huge space here, you can do a real big master bedroom. And the good thing is, it has a washroom over there, but what it lacks is, a bathtub, which you can customize the space somewhere here from the bathtub if you want to. Yes. Yes, buddy. Yeah. I like that coverture design on the yes. roof. Uh, makes it look very beautiful. Yes. Unique. Yes. And then also you have a French. Oh yeah, a oh, French window. A French window on, the, on that side. Yes. And then behind us, yeah. very massive rooftop terrace. That's very, very true. I mean, that French window, you know, has got a very beautiful balcony that gives you a chance to appreciate the beauty of the exterior just next to your attic. This side is a very huge attic which I'm going to take you to see how big it is. You can host parties on that space, you can have some yama chores, you can you know have gathering on that side, you can just chill there and enjoy the beauty of low ratio just in front of you. Everything happening in real time just in front of you. Now look at that. That is the beauty I'm talking about. Just come, buddy. Start from here. Show the beauty of Laurentia. Look at that. That is pure greenery, nature, right? God's work in action. Look at that. God's work in action. Greenery, beautiful. Views from your rooftop deck. I mean, uh, I'm lost for words, Boris. Is there anything else I can add? There is something to add. Look at these light fixtures. Just like the ones in Kitosuru. Yes. The four million, which you're almost closing on that. Then this roof, right? The roof. <laughs> that roof I explained down there. This is it. Beautiful. Very quiet. And it's if the outside is warm, it cools the interior. Inside. Why are you not feeling cool inside? Yes, very cool. Very cool, right? Yeah. Yes, buddy. I mean also I like the view. Yeah. Very nice green forest view on that side. Exactly. Unmatched. Yes. And much green forest views. On Very the true. <laughs> I know you're trying to see, but you cannot sell for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just struggling to. Anyway, no problem. We have come to the end of our beautiful tour of this four bedroom villa in Laurentia. Where I'm standing, this is my backyard porch that just uh, borders my beautiful, nicely manicured garden. Now, this one, look at the height of this porch. A lot of air that can circulate on this space and the beams are still consistent and behind me my backdrop is beautiful look at those art windows beautifying my porch 
really huge enough. You can put a lot of seats here, right? Mm -hmm. And it's very cheap. This house is in the market right now for only 150 million. Anybody who feels like, right, this would suit them, or even things like this can suit them, it's free. You can call the number on the screen just right now, and we're gonna fix a viewing exclusive for you only. Take it through everything, every space in this property, get to understand what it comes with. You see it in real time. It is a pleasure having you on the screen. It's a guy Bob will see I'll see. And I'll say thank you so much and until next time on the same place. Bye bye. And I'm gonna see you soon. Ciao, ciao.